Polycarbonate has become one of the most versatile materials of the decade. It's used in eyeglasses, appliances, vehicles, greenhouses and facades to name a few. It's quickly replacing traditional materials like glass and acrylic because of its increased strength, lightness and ease of installation. Polycarbonate building materials are also very unique. They appear transparent during the day and emit a captivating internal glow at night. Polycarbonate is quickly changing the future of architecture and construction. It can be found in a wide range of finishes, colors and profiles like solid, corrugated and multi-wall panels. These materials might cost a bit more upfront, but they can save you money in the long run. In this video, we're going to explore all the different types of polycarbonate, how it's made, its advantages and disadvantages. Polycarbonate is one of the fastest growing synthetic plastics with a global demand of 5 million tons. Recent innovations in polycarbonates have triggered a ripple effect across all industries, especially construction. The versatility of polycarbonate allows it to be formed into a range of panels, each designed for specific applications. Multi-wall panels consist of multiple layers with hollow chambers in between. They can be formed into twin wall, triple wall, five wall panels and more. The air pockets give them excellent insulation properties, making them ideal for roofing, greenhouse glazing and cladding. Corrugated panels have a wavy or ribbed surface. They are used for roofing and siding as they can provide both natural light transmission and impact resistance. The corrugated structure also prevents water accumulation and allows for flexibility during installation. Solid panels look just like glass or acrylic sheets. They are used for windows, skylights, security barriers and protective screens. Multi-wall, corrugated and solid panels are the three main categories of polycarbonate sheets, but you can find many different subcategories. Bullet-resistant panels are used in bank teller windows and military vehicles. Soundproof panels with a honeycomb structure are used along highways. Embossed panels can diffuse light, reduce glare and provide privacy. Polycarbonate mirrors are unbreakable and weather resistant. Colored panels are used both indoors and outdoors to enhance architectural designs like in this insane Tetris hotel designed by architecture firm MVRDV. So we understand the many uses of polycarbonate, but what is it and how is it made? At the simplest level, polycarbonate is a synthetic or human-made plastic made from the reaction of bisphenol A and phosgene. Bisphenol A or BPA is mixed with sodium hydroxide to form a salt called diphenoxide and a water molecule. This reacts with phosgene or carbonyl dichloride to form a chloroformate. After multiple reactions with diphenoxide, the molecule grows to form a long polymer chain called polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is often misunderstood because it is derived from fossil fuels and it's a synthetic plastic. People think that it contributes to the massive plastic pollution on our planet, but that's not entirely true. Polycarbonate building products are not single-use plastics and they have a ton of advantages over traditional building materials like glass and acrylic. One of the advantages is its increased strength. Polycarbonate is 250 times stronger than standard glass and 30 times stronger than acrylic because of its molecular structure and chemical composition. It has long linear polymer chains as we discussed earlier. These give it a high molecular weight and high strength. It also has a very high impact resistance. In fact, it's virtually unbreakable. It's an excellent choice for roofs in areas prone to storms, hail and harsh weather conditions. Unlike glass, which is fragile, polycarbonate will not shatter or break. It is also chemically inert. It will not react with water, acids, bases, oils, solvents and alcohols. This is because of its carbon-to-carbon -carbon and carbon-to-oxygen covalent bonds. These are stable and resistant to chemical breakdown under normal environmental conditions. Another big advantage is its thermal insulation properties. Multi-wall panels can insulate 60% better than glass panels. The air chambers between the layers act as insulators which reduce heat transmission. 
Moreover, the material itself, polycarbonate, has a naturally low thermal conductivity compared to glass or metal. Polycarbonate is also lightweight compared to glass, metal and wood because it has an amorphous or non-crystalline molecular structure. Unlike crystalline metals which tend to be denser, amorphous materials have a more disordered arrangement of atoms contributing to their lower density. When polycarbonate replaces glass in buildings, it can reduce transportation costs. It also generates less compressive and tensile stress on the surrounding materials. This allows foundations to be lighter, so you're using less concrete and less steel. It leads to a reduced carbon footprint. On the financial side, polycarbonate is easier to handle, so installation crews are smaller and less expensive. Polycarbonate is becoming more popular among architects because of its enchanting ability to transform a building's appearance throughout the day. Bradbury Works is a retail and office building in London. It has a steel frame clad with aluminum and polycarbonate panels to create a translucent facade. Another example is the Gloria Kaufman Performing Arts Centre in Los Angeles. It has a 100% recycled polycarbonate facade made from post-consumer recycled plastic. The last example is a gorgeous public structure in Japan built by a group of graduate students. A robust timber frame made from Japanese larch is covered in transparent sheets of polycarbonate, ensuring that plants are fed by natural light. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty excited about the future of this material. If you would like to upgrade your roof or car porch with some polycarbonate sheets, check out Roofing for US, the largest US online retailer for roofing products and the sponsor of this portion of the video. Their polycarbonate roof kit comes with all essential hardware for a simple, hassle-free assembly for most roof sizes. Just select the size of your roof and everything will arrive in one neat package. Another popular product on their site are the Smart Attic Ladders by Facro. I actually installed two of them in my home, a metal scissor fire-rated ladder and a wood fire-rated one. Facro ladders are equipped with non-slip steps insulated doors and handrails to ensure safety and energy efficiency. Head to roofingforus.com to check out all the attic ladder options available. You can also use the promo code BELINDA5 to receive an additional 5% discount off your next order with roofingforus.com. Let's end this video by discussing the disadvantages of polycarbonate. First off, it's not completely resistant to UV radiation. Most polycarbonate sheets have a resin coating and UV stabilizers impregnated into the material, which makes it suitable for outdoor applications. However, over time, prolonged exposure to sunlight may cause yellowing. It is also susceptible to scratches because the exposed surfaces are relatively soft. To mitigate this issue, coatings or treatments can be applied to enhance scratch resistance. The third disadvantage is its bulkiness compared to other insulation materials. This can affect space constraints in a building. In the residential sector, polycarbonate is best used as a replacement for glass, not for wood or metal framed walls. Finally, there are some environmental concerns with using polycarbonate. BPA or bisphenol A is one of the main ingredients of this material. It has been linked to some serious health effects. That's why all our food and water containers now have a BPA-free label. Scientists are developing a BPA-free polycarbonate alternative to address these concerns. Like any building material, polycarbonate may not be the ideal choice for every situation. However, its unique properties make it a valuable material for a wide range of applications. And I'm excited to see a lot more innovation in this sector in the coming decade. Let me know what you think about polycarbonate in the comments. Do you have any experience using it as a roofing or cladding material? I'm now offering early access to ad-free videos on Patreon as a thank you to everyone supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button and the notification bell too. Thanks for watching. See ya.